Six times. Yeah. Woke up early on this Wednesday morning. Told myself to go and get it because the Lord is calling me. Bullshit on my timeline for Facebook. I need FaceTime. Put the phones down. Let's house crash. Show the whole world how we socialize. Where the party at? I'm ready. Where the hoes at? I'm kidding. No tell is needed because I'm not going to be your next. You're going to remember. We ain't never worried about who ain't here. Just worried because we ain't drinking. I'm draped out of my latest game because we in this bitch like that. I'm just racing glass. This shit that I've been through. So good. I don't know. Oh, you want to smack your cup? Let's not go to it on the word whack. It might be mean as whack. But uh, we got here Poncho. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. Doing this thing myself, show sure enough. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. If this is your first time here, this is the first episode, so you ain't late. <laughs> you know, so um, hey, we gonna get it in. We gonna get right to it. Uh, shoot, let's jump into the music, man. Matter hey, of fact, let's go. yeah, let's jump into the music, Jay. Tell me about you know what I'm saying Poncho. Poncho You're in the show, Twin man. Cities, man. What kind of what, what what's your relationship with music, man? Uh, my relationship with music, man, I'm like 16 years deep, man. Um, started rapping like my, uh, was it my senior year in, in high school? Okay, yeah, and yeah. And linked up with, with some guys that end up becoming my lifetime friends. And we just kind of, you know, just, you know, just took off doing our thing. It was just fun, man. It was just a fun expression. I was a quiet kid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was yeah, just crazy. Yeah. I talk like crazy now. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I was a quiet kid, uh, you know, moving to Minnesota. I didn't really have, you know, I ain't got no family here. All my family, you know, Chicago, it scattered out of Illinois. So okay. I yeah. got here and uh, finally, like, started doing music. It kind of, like, brought back that confidence and stuff that, you know, uh, social aspect of myself that I had when I was, you know, back in Illinois. Yeah, yeah, and uh, okay. music kind of brought that back, and uh, so it was just a fun outlet that just you know took off into some things that kind of really shaped my life from the point that I started doing it, shaped my life in a, in a uh, whole way that you never you know just like change every your trajectory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once you find something that you're passionate about yeah. that you never really knew that you was passionate about, <laughs> yeah, especially uh, you said you started in high school. Man. Yes, that's the, it's the early days, yeah. man. So man, still figuring his life out. You done tapped into music. That's what's up. Yeah, and and then you actually like I, I actually like started like publicly doing it, but then like I got like I still got all my old stuff. Like oh, I yeah. was writing. I don't know the the dates on it, but like I know I was writing before that. Oh, okay, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Because yeah. I was heavy into uh, you know just listening to music as a fan. So mm-hmm. I, I I don't know exactly what point I started writing, but I remember writing even before okay. you know high school too. Man, that's dope, so, man. Yeah. All the people that I know now and that I still mess with, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, from from my high school days. Dope. That, that's kind of rare sometimes, actually. You know what I mean? Because you know you get up and you grow into business world and stuff like that, and your friends kind of spawn off into what your work is and stuff like that. Which I got those too, but mm-hmm. like. Like my core, like all came all from came high school. From, yeah, yeah, that's what's up, man. Dope. Yeah, dope. Longevity. Um, let me see. What kind of uh, what are you doing currently with music? Uh, currently with music. I mean, 
I write all the time, therapy. Uh, okay. But I'm not like active as far as um, I'm not active in in the sense of you know I'm out there doing shows. What I do like yeah. once a year, like I'll do something. I just pop up and just like yo, hey, you know, like, come shut through. it down right yeah, quick. Yeah, you, know, right. you know, you get that urge or whatnot. But yeah. um. Other than that, like I'm looking into uh, going into management. You know what I'm saying? So, um, okay, sharing some of the uh, game that I've picked up over mm-hmm. the years from when I was doing it, and then also what I've learned on the outside as I've been kind of sitting back. So, mm-hmm. picking that up and kind of, I want to be something that I never had, which was, you know, a guiding light for somebody, like a, a somebody that can take you through the ropes. You know, it was like. We started, we was 18, 19, and we was dope. You know, got your neighborhood fame and get, get, yeah. get hot in the city and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. But then had no one to be like, okay, you're dope. This is how you create revenue off of it. This right. is how you, uh, you know, stay stay relevant. This is how you start moving up the ladder, stuff like that. And those yeah. things, I didn't learn until the point that I was no longer – interested to that level. You know what I'm saying? Like right, I had a right, kid right. and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, I'm going to focus on my kid. Right. Life started um, changing yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, um, I didn't get that during the time where if I would have had that, right. sky would have been a limit. Like you the know OG what I mean? to tell you, hey man, go exactly. ahead and do this move. Go to- man, they was like gatekeepers out here. So, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think I got some value to offer as, as far as it goes to um, helping, helping artists look into, you know, you know, if you start in ground level, you know, kind of get you yeah. to a certain level and, you know. Like dropping a single yeah. versus albums or. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Showing, cool. showing which way, you know, directing, directing it, directing which way to go and how to do certain things and, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. And uh, fortunately, uh, in a position where like, I ain't rich or nothing, but, you know, I got, I didn't have money when I was uh, coming up. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you get older, you know, yeah. I'm a grown man now. So, you know, you got a little bit. A, a change that you can invest. I didn't have yeah. money to invest in myself, um, gotcha. so you know, finding you know the right people to to to, to work with, mm-hmm. not only guidance and you know I know funds be an issue when when you're younger and stuff like that too. So you know, mapping that out. I ain't put it all together yet, but that's where my mindset is is kind of at currently because okay. uh, you know yeah. I'm doing some things in, in in life and working and stuff like that, which is dope. Yeah. But my passion is still music at the end of the day. Just not on the level of doing it necessarily for myself, right? Yeah. So just okay. kind of transition into music, but at a different angle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, s- sitting back at high school, you say you got sixteen years in the game right now. Sixteen. Let me see. Um, I released my first project in 07. So that's 07, 07. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, six. Yeah, sixteen. About that. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. What are, what are some of the highlights, man, that you could think of over these past years? <sighs> what are some of the highlights, man? Let me see. Cause, <laughs> cause, yeah, going on a musical journey, man, it could get tough, man. You know, man, going in and out um, of these venues and whatnot. What are some of the highlights, you would say? There's a bunch of them, man. Like, we had fun. <laughs> that's all I was saying. Like, all top, like, it was fun. You know, you, um, like I said, you, 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 you reached that neighborhood celebrity status. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, snap. It's just like you know you 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 going to the parties you you throwing shows and stuff like that um yeah, yeah. you know you get to meet something I met uh, MGK before he was MGK you know you you okay, meet yeah. uh you do show I did shows with like Waka Waka was Waka when I did shows with him yeah dope, um dope. even in the later stages like I did joint with um what's the dude's name uh, Money Bag Yo so you you kind of get to the yeah. point where you like you ain't famous obviously but you enough where you in the same room and that's motivating you yeah, you in the yeah, same yeah. room with with somebody who either on the verge or is really there where you looking to go yeah. like that was some of the most motivating moments you can do and then um you know like we didn't have shows body to body like some of the shows we did um shout out g beck uh man we we used to do shows mug you come in that joint like you can't move and, and I, I got pictures and videos up. of that, man. Those were incredible times, man. I remember, like, uh, mud falling off stage yeah. in the middle of the rap. <laughs> bam, bam. Yeah, not me, but hey, one of the fell, homies. Man? <laughs> Which one of y'all fell on stage? Mo. Mo. <laughs> yeah, you said, yeah, he fell up. Boom, yeah. pop right back up like nothing like happened. Nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, also just kind of meeting other um, 
other artists out there, you know, K Bone, man, you, you just watch incredible people coming up, like that you either knew in school or yeah. even didn't know. Like I remember uh meeting my guy Gaines, mean him through uh my baby mom at the time, like it, I don't even remember how old we was, but mean him because my baby mom was friends with his uh, lady at the time. Okay, yeah, okay. Mean dope people, uh, Mally, and these, you know, cats where you see in life, like, it's dope to watch evolution of Level other people, up, yeah. man, because it's, it's dope meeting famous people and stuff like that, but it's yeah. also even 10 times doper seeing somebody that you know, yo, yo. Came away, like literally sitting in the living room with a mug, sharing conversation, boom. So I started taking, taking off, on. so you know, uh, man, it's, it's it's a lot of highlights, man. Yeah. Shout out to games too, man. all that type. Of- <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that, that's a highlight. I'm not gonna lie, you know. We, we like I said, we had fun, man. It's it a lot of that's dope. a lot of fun times, man. Dope. Okay, yeah. Heard some of the highlights, man. I know you done slowed down a little bit on going out and whatnot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, spoke yeah. on um, previously, baby mama. You got you married and all that too, right? Yeah, yeah. Married, yeah. man. Y'all see me? That's you right. Know, we out, out there here. got the band yeah. right there. <laughs> yes, sir. What the? What's that life like? What's man, oh life? man, marriage is marriage has been dope, man. Uh, actually, been with my wife for like eight years. You know what I'm saying? So congratulations, um, man. Thank you, years. thank That's you. Dope. And That's married. Uh, what what we going on? Three. Going on three years of marriage, eight years total. Nice. Um, it's been pretty dope, man. Cause like when we 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 both be looking back at pictures, like, cause you got a whole life. Like I said, yeah, I got a baby mom, so you got a whole life before your marriage. Now I get to looking through pictures, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I met this lady. My daughter was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> three, four, four years old. Like my daughter. About to be 12. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, but it's been super dope, man. Uh, just uh, building with somebody and, um, you know, having having a partner there to, to to navigate life with and stuff like that. You know, ups and yeah. downs, you know, everybody always say that. You know, you have those, but yeah, on, yeah. on a real level, like, that's your, your, your dopest business partner. Mm-hmm. And then you also sharing, you know, intimate life with them as well. So it's been... It's been super dope. Most definitely, man. man. Yeah, that's definitely your uh, other half, and your uh, you know she got your back at all yeah. times. Man. Right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. What What are your kind of hopes for the culture, man? What do you uh, What are your hopes or visions for the culture of hip hop or music? So when I look at the the, the culture and the landscape, man, it's kind of mm-hmm. like you know you being in that point. You know, you kind of growing up when you used to hear the stories of like how. Parents and stuff used to tell, yeah, shut Snoop Dogg off, take that off. It turned that mess off. <laughs> I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really there, bro. And I just, like, you hear this stuff, and he's like, yo, obviously, I grew up on Wayne, 50 Cent, exactly. Jeezy. You, know, you grew yeah. up on all this stuff. You ain't, I'm, yo, this, these are my, my, my people. Like, yeah, I, yo, yo, this yo. is my top. Mm-hmm. But then you get to that point, like, you got kids. Your friends got kids. Yeah. You thinking about who you are as a person and what you wanna, what you wanna see within the community, yeah. and you like, yo, this stuff is wild. You know, I hear a lot of, obviously, uh, drug talk. You know what I'm saying? Just, just think, so. you know, like they still play to this day on the radio. Uh, Percocets, Molly Percocets, Molly Percocets. like yeah, that's yeah. that's wild. The yeah. the joint pop, right? But it, then it when you say like, yo. Advertisement at its finest, like yeah. yo, that's crazy. So you know, you getting that, you getting like the ultimate murder joints, and you know, and Mugs is really carrying out these acts. So it used to be, yeah. I felt like uh, art was an imitation of life, and I feel like life is kind of imitating the art, yeah. you know, in the form of like, oh, this is what they doing, this is what they saying, boom. Let me, let me, you know, what I'm saying, let me, let me go out here and, and prove some, you know, and um, right. So. I want to see the culture shift from that. Just straight, just keep it blunt. I want to see a shift from that. It's, it's not, and, and I don't know, I don't have the answers, gotcha. um, the, the the complete answers, but I definitely want to see a shift from that because it's genocide music, bro. It, it, it really this is. This is real man. genocide. It's someone bop though too, so that's it, what it I said. Like, it it's like, you, yo, man. you know what I mean? Hold on, I got to put the straight Kanye on. <laughs> because uh, like that that joint will really get you, and it's like you know, I, and I hear my uh, kids, you know, they 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 know in front of me, like you know, I got a different stand. Turn that joint off, like I don't play that. They was listening to Dale and stuff uh, until they got to about 
eight, nine years old, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. just because like I, I can't I can't feed this until you knowing how powerful music is. Yeah, definitely. So I wanna figure out how to shift it where we can talk about our life experience, but I feel like we get to the point where it's celebratory to be impoverished. It's celebratory. Right. Like just just recall when Drake did uh Started from the bottom, now oh, we yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. We ain't start from no bottom like that nah. was a diss. Yeah. And I've made it to a point in life, luckily, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, no, that's not my reality. So I'm not rapping when I do write the therapeutic, like I said, when I be writing. I ain't got that same viewpoint. And right, I understand yeah, that yeah. some people do. But mm-hmm. how do we change the narrative where we're not only basically celebrating Whose poverty was the worst? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like a battle of, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, my, I was my, broken. No, I was broken. Exactly, bro. Like, uh. <laughs> so, you know, my, my whole mission in life, yeah. you know, like above music is to be able to, I don't, I don't care if it's one person, two people, three people, you know, uplift people and show them that, you know, it's, it's, it's a way out. Definitely. So, like, wrap that into you know even music too because we're we're a very impart, important part of uh the growth of our people as a whole music is very it, important you know it's not just music yeah and you realize that right. the, the the more you you know grow in, as a yeah. person and stuff like that it's not just music so you know this yeah. is a weapon of mass destruction it is and it is. used in the right way you can create you know a a a, a dope uh generation of people yep, yep. that are influenced that are you know structured in certain ways and, and learn how to think and move and then but using the wrong way you see what's happening man these mothers is really dying off these drugs they talking about they really killing each other oh this is an op Bro, they really killing them like this is yeah, not a this, joke out here it's definitely not it's so, definitely not yeah um, we'll see that change <clears throat> Yeah, man, like, even coming up, man, I used to, like, Wayne is one of my favorite rappers, so, you know, my pops was in my ear, like, man, you need to stop listening to that man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, man, no, listen to what he's saying, and I'm li- I'm listening to metaphors, I'm seeing yeah. how cold he, you know, that, but that's the, the level of what I'm listening to it at. I'm not hearing him talk about, you know, the drugs and all this other stuff. Right. I'm, I'm hearing the relation between the metaphors, the punchlines. The beauty of the hip hop, so that's right. that's more so what I'm listening for. I'm not gonna go out here and do all these drugs and the kill art nobody, form. right? Yeah. It's for the art, you know what I'm saying, and it just shows the artistry of of, of how Cole Wayne is really. Yeah. And um, I'm starting to feel what you were saying, like today with the music that's coming out, how my pops was feeling with Wayne, yeah. and it was coming, but it's it's you know it's a little it's different. Like people carrying, like you said, carrying out these acts. And um, doing these things, and uh, I'm trying to also find another way how we can um, <laughs> find something else to talk about, man. Man, like, yo, it's cool you speaking was broke. of Wayne, bro. You, yeah, you know, Wayne was my guy forever, and then it's like, n- undoubtedly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, here, Easily. but when you 40, or I don't know how old he is. I'm pretty sure he's close to 40. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the content ain't evolving. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The content is still there. But then, you know, I, I, I cut you off, my bad. Uh, no, but what you was about to say about, you know, like the, uh, yeah, just still rapping about poverty and stuff. It's like, we never going to get out if that's just so, like, that's our glorification. Like, continuously glorifying the same things that we glorify, it's not going to change your predicament. I've been thinking about some different ways to change the narrative and get kids and youth and everybody interested in music a different way or express music a different way. And it's just like what you was talking about, you know, it's different when your kids is there because it's like, yo, like you said, Molly Percocet, Molly Percocet. If your kids are saying that around you, bro, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to make me feel a different way. Man. My, you know, like, nah, I can't have my shorty listen to this. Man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be a better future out there. I do this backpack drive and uh, we was at the uh, backpack drive and I'm very selective. Like, it's not the music that I play there. I've selected this two months before the event. So I go through okay, yeah. and not only clean, because I, I, people get twisted where it's like, oh, this is the clean version. Yeah, but mm. he's still saying what he's saying. So right, yeah. I'm playing the records and then uh, it was some 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 uh, older cats. I didn't even know them, honestly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, our thing is open to the public. So, right, oh, yeah, yeah. This, music, that, that, this music is in date. You play this? Nah, buddy. Nah, I'm playing what I'm playing. This is a kids' event. Kids' music doesn't mean just the cursing is cut out. 
Right, yeah. Yep. It means the content as well. Yeah, so yep, I'm, yep. I'm playing content that's suitable for the age groups that we have there, and you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I'm 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 just I'm, I'm big on I'm on that rabbit hole of that right now, and I I mean, it's, it's really deep. <laughs> it's very critical though, you it's know, really with these deep. kids because they soak up stuff like sponges. You Man. know what I'm saying? So you know they kind of been on the um the, the, the depression rap, you know, and uh you know mental health yeah. is a whole thing, but it's like okay, protect your mental health. But go listen to this song talking about killing yourself if your girlfriends leave you. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you know. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> My man Games had a line where he said in the song, he's like, who the F said it was cool to be emo? So, you know, he be going uh, there. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I'm saying? In that line, I always, when I hear the music, I always, my, my mind jumps to that. It's like, bro, yeah. y'all, y'all, y'all selling this, uh, selling sad. Mm hmm. That's mm. another one. That's just as, you know, because now everybody yeah. walking around, you know, you have a bad day and everything is just over for you. Right, yeah. Bro, you just had it's a not bad day. The world, man. <laughs> you know no, you still got good health, right? <laughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying? Man. You ain't locked in the basement with the lights out or none of that. You exactly. Know? <laughs> you got all your limbs. Yeah. Count your blessings, dog. <laughs> man. Yeah, definitely trying to find different ways to, uh, to enlighten others. And um, find life, you know what yes. I'm saying? And look at the glass half full versus half empty, man. Yes. So, uh, yeah, man, um, you spoke a little bit about the drive, the backpack drive. What's that about? Uh, so, you know, for the past six, yeah, six, past six years, um, we've been doing a, a, a backpack. Well, it didn't start as a backpack drive. Oh, okay. The first year, it was just like, yo, we just wanted to throw a barbecue in the park. and. Right. Um, um, I'm now I'm beating a dead horse with this rap thing, but uh, <laughs> I'll speak just a half second on it. But uh, right. we started a uh, we was like I just throw a big me and my brother. Um, yeah. And then eventually my wife came along and, and my mom came along and then we all mm -hmm. did it together. But throw a barbecue in the park and then you know uh, just kick it and then we had like the bouncy house and all that stuff. So you know yeah. they yep. bring the kids, we chilling and then we. We did have rap at, at that that first year. Oh, okay, like and like a freestyle thing, or no, was it no. like you know, it was, it was like a concert, like a session. Oh, concert, right. okay. But we had all the kids there. Oh yeah. And then what stopped me was my man's did a uh, <laughs> shout out, Joe. I love you, bro. But you used the motivation <laughs> for me to change it. He did a joint. <laughs> it was a dope joint, dope but it was joint, like a sex joint. joint. He blocked out the. Uh, uh, the, uh, the the uh, explicit lyrics, but right. it still was a sex joint. I'm right. talking when I say kids. Four, five, like oh, we had kid dude, kids, you know dang. what I'm saying? As we've been going, some of them kids been returning, so you know they get they older, getting yeah, older yeah. but you know getting new cross kids. But that was like the kind of like the first mindset way. Like, oh, but I ain't gonna shoot. go back on no, that. I feel but, it, I feel it. Um, so yeah, so it started as that, and then like the next year, I'm like, okay, you know, let's let's take out the rap, but let's add more stuff for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yep, and then yep. from, from the second year moving forward, it just really became about the kids. And then, like, you know, uh, mm -hmm. then it was like, okay, let's let's throw some backpacks in there and kind of, you know, get... And you never know because sometimes you, you, you end up doing something like, people don't need backpacks. Like, and, you know, you I don't right, like yeah. to be too high. I'm like, I don't know. People, do people really be needing backpacks right. or is this something just rappers do? Or, right. you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, like, straight up. <laughs> and then you end up doing it and you start seeing, like, oh, no, people really coming. People really, yeah. Uh, they yeah. coming, you know what I'm saying? Now you feel like, oh, okay, now it, it, it really is a I serviceable need, thing, yeah. not just something that, um, like I said, just, just rappers do just to, you right, know, yeah. say, hey, I did a backpack drive. I, I gave Bring out turkeys. turkeys. To the <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, once you do it, you actually see the outcome and then it's like, yeah. oh, I can't stop. Everybody ready? Let me see your game face. You ready? Yes. Oh, he ready. She ready. Y'all ready? Yeah. Right, you ready? Yeah. There it goes. Bomb out the window. System on fuck your fear. Feeling like time in his prime. There is no competition. I've been up for like five days. Straight niggas working. I deserve to shine. Got a drop ring on just to hit the city. Bumping my shit. That's legendary. Got a bag on me that's mad heavy. Trying to catch a wave without the do rag and low tolerance for you square niggas. That's worth the squid. I I captain. Got a full tank. I'm gassed up. Nothing jumping like double dash for the right price. I slide. Hey, yo, yeah. Conversations right hey, on my slide. Y'all ready? Type of night to make you do wrong. 
but it's good vibes on. I said good vibes on. Hold on, hold on. I got one. Hey, we, we racing for that chain, though. We coming about. It was at this moment he knew he wanted that chain. That chain, man. Uh -oh. Oh, one down! Man down! Man down! Sample for the chicken. <laughs> you wanna see me taste this shit? Wow. You wanna see me watch your fingers, man? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. There's been a couple years, like, I'm gonna say, like, the COVID year, you know what I'm saying? And then the year oh, out yeah, there, yeah. you like, damn, you know, just things getting tight or whatever. You want. Like, stop. Yeah. Then, you know, must start, yo, y'all still doing the joint this year, right? Damn, okay, we got to do it. We yeah, can't yeah. stop, you know what I'm saying? So we yeah. end up, you know, getting ourselves into something. We, we love it. We love it. But, you know, yeah. sometimes we get tired and stuff like that. And, it's like, you know, stuff going on. But when you build something that the uh, community want and they're expecting, it's motivation to keep going. And uh, people been loving it, man. So, yeah, we've been doing yeah. that every year in August. We uh, just throw a backpack joint, and then we like to get people involved. So we do games and stuff like that. So, you nope. know, the adults, the kids... Y'all come play some games, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have fun. And then at the end, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we have food. And then um, right. yep, yep. you know, then we we leave it out with the backpack and stuff. So this year though, we're gonna we're gonna add some more to it because uh we we on year six, we gotta make it different. Cause we got a lot of returning people, but then we also have we be having random people, bro. Like you know, just, just in there, you get to looking it. like yeah. but it's all it's all love. It's I all ain't love. never had yep, no yep. issues or nothing like that. Um but you know we want to uh, we want to we want to upgrade Continue. it this year so that okay, yeah. you know for the returning people they don't get bored and then for the new people they just like oh bro this is you know what I'm saying yeah. and we ain't got no um, like no sponsors or nothing like that so it's just it's it's all on you know uh, our core group and our uh, donors you know what I'm saying we have yeah. people uh, we we usually shoot out like a um, a Facebook message or something like that and we got cash out and stuff that. Yeah, and yeah, they make okay. this joint come true for other people. And it's dope. You know what I'm saying? And they're, the donors, one year we didn't do donors because it was it was the COVID year. And the we COVID was year, like, okay. we, everybody going through stuff. We was going through stuff, you know, yeah, like financially, yeah. like knowing, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, resources. we need to prepare for the few, you know what I'm saying? We need to stack our bread. Prepare. So we didn't want to ask. Bro, did I tell you they attacked me? The donors attacked me, but. Yo, what's what's going on? You ain't send the donor, but you had you the thing. I'm like, you mean you ain't need one for me, bro? <laughs> that's when I knew it was real. Like, oh no, y'all, y'all really loving and to be involved and be able to that give, made me yeah. feel like happy, bro. It was like, you don't feel like you're like uh, begging somebody for help. Yeah, it's like no, they're 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 excited to uh, be a part of what we're doing. So man, it's it's, it's been great. It's that's been great. Dope. That's dope. Yeah, I caught the one last year, man. I yeah. saw Mike over there throwing down oh, on the man. grill. Mike is busy. So <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike did do the do the uh, he do the barbecue on there. He did my wedding. Man. I, they was at they was at my wedding party. I threw, threw a wedding party in the backyard. Yeah. He was a little late. Uh, they, they thinking I'm finna cook. No, 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 no. 
I got somebody coming through for that. King's Abzo on the grill. Chef Abzo on the motherfucking grill. Chef Abzo. Doing it big right here, man. You know, Doing it big. You know, I got the brock, got the pony, got the brock, got the chicken. It's all cooking, baby. It's all cooking. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that shit. <laughs> I got somebody for that. Just hold on. Mike gets busy, man. Drink some water. Mike you be gets right. busy. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, he do definitely get busy, man. Yeah. Get cold with it. What else you got going on these days, man? Uh, what else going on for Poncho? I see you talked about the married life, happy wife, happy life. You got the music, generated friendships from high school. Yes. What, so now what in today is like, what, what's Poncho doing today? Outside of music then, what's, what else is Poncho doing? So outside, I'm, 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 I'm trying to shape my life because I'm, I'm be transparent. It's, it's, it's a hard transition when you put a lot of years into a specific thing, you know, mm. you feel like the retiring basketball player, like, right, right, dang. what do I do now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, um, you know, been lucky enough as far as like work wise to, uh, be in a field that generates, uh, enough money to take care of my family and stuff like that. Pretty good. But when you're doing something that ain't your passion, mm. you realize like money and they say it sounds cliche. I don't know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but you do like in a real way you realize okay money's just not the that's not the end all be all because in the field yeah. where I'm working like I get good bread bro like yeah yeah and yeah. I'm able to you know like I said take care of my family you know what I'm saying my kids bro we go on like two three vacations a year so we we be chilling well, that's what's up. but yeah. like I said I don't want to sound cliche but I'm gonna sound cliche you realize like yo it's cool but. This ain't it because right. I'm still doing something that ain't really I'm passionate about. It's just you wake up, you just it ain't it's no thought to it. You just you just go. So right now I'm kind of in that transition period of figuring like how to utilize my God given abilities in a different form because I got the you know the hate love thing going on with rap. So it's like okay, boom. But my voice, my words are my power that's my superpower that god gave me so um you know you think about a book you think about a podcast and you know you think about you know uh engaging yourself with the community in general so figuring out which way or all ways that i uh plan to attack it and figure out how to from there create my next my next stages in life so it's been a challenging process because you know when, when you're new to things and you've been doing a certain thing for 20 years or whatever damn near it's like okay how do I make this transition how do I do this how do I do that so you're you're becoming a student all over again so that's where I'm at in life right now I'm a student moving okay you know you're moving but I'm still a student to figuring out what is my definitive next role? I'm doing a lot of things. Hey, real estate, <laughs> trucking, you know, bunch of stuff. So, you know. That's right. Yep, yep. I, I, I got to, you know, we got to kind of narrow that bucket. And that's kind of where I'm at I right now. Kind of trying to pinpoint my <clears throat> joint because I know when I pinpoint my thing, mm -hmm. whatever it is, like I, I go hard. Like when I pinpointed music, I went crazy. Yep, yep. You know, in school, growing up, when I pinpointed my work. I graduated with honors, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I said, I'm going to be a generational curse breaker for my family. I pinpointed what I needed to do. We broke the curses. Boom. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So anything I set my mind to, I get it. Right yeah. now, I'm just kind of, you know, you're juggling what, what, what. You know, mm -hmm. That's kind of what I got I'm you. doing a lot of things. <laughs> I got you. That's what's up. Bro. How about yourself, man? What, 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 what you, uh... Me right now, um, I mean, like you said, uh... As far as today, like right now, I'm doing, uh, as far as music, I'm making beats. I play bass as well. Um, I got a little band, So Fluential. We, uh, we doing our thing on the side there. Um, as far as career stuff like that, I mean, right now, it's, like, I got my CDL as well and I'm um, working for a company. But at the same time, I started another company which I want to grow. Okay. But um, right now, it's just about getting the bag together. I want to buy a truck, but... We'll, we'll see how that turned out. We, we'll see how that turned right. out. But, um, I mean, yeah, it's in transportation right now. And, uh, 
like you said, you know, it's just waking up, getting to the bag. Right. Getting to the bag. Keep going. Keep pushing. Um, Because, you know, your gift's going to make room for you either way. So, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Staying focused and going 100% every day like you was talking about, man. So, um, that's really where I'm at right now. And we got the Show Enough TV here. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we trying to make waves, man. Um. Yeah, 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 that's that's, that's me that's, right now in a nutshell. Yes. That's that what it is. Y'all, y'all gonna find out more once you watch the show. Oh yeah, yeah. man, I'm I'm, sure. I'm I'm enjoying. It. I first off, I I didn't even say I appreciate you. Yeah. you know what I'm saying you just said um, earlier this is the first episode. Oh yeah, man, yep, yep. I, honored. You know what hey. I'm saying to be first episode, man. I appreciate hey. that big time. Appreciate you, big man. Time. Showing up, man. Shout out to Pancho, yes, man. Sir. Once again, Shout man. out, show enough TV. Let's yeah, get yeah. it. Let's get it. <laughs> So yeah, man. Um, right now it's just about the hustle, just staying, staying hungry, and uh, staying focused, staying motivated. And I'm kind of actually cutting out social media altogether. Yes. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Because I will catch myself looking at my phone hours on the end, just oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Scrolling, oh, man, this, laughing, this, sending. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's most of the day. It at becomes least. that addictive drug that you don't know is an addictive drug. Boom. You know there what I'm saying? Is. Like I, I I take yearly breaks from like. October, I don't probably come back on there to like May or something like that. But For even sure. now, like at this point, it's like I really don't feel like. But then yeah. again, like when you do stuff, right, you have to have. See, there's no way to exist in this world with a uh, content product if your product mm-hmm. is content and stuff like that. You can't exist in the world <laughs> without <Right>. having it. So <laughs> yeah, yep, finding yep. that balance, man, and that's where. I struggled with um, because you'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm finna get on here to make sure I handle this business. Yeah. And next thing you know, next like you, you said, know, scrolling. Now I'm looking at a whole bunch. I'm investing in months. Like, bro, why is she with this dude? I know she was like, just married. You know exactly. Like, she just talked and mess with You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? like man, you know, you, yeah. you get caught up in, in, in you, you know, your reality shows on there and all type Look, of see? crazy junk, man. So. Stand disciplined is uh so when I do return with, with whatever I have, yeah. I gotta make sure everything's scheduled out. It, it's a di- no, this is this is a job for me at this point because yeah. you know I'm I'm past that point of just you know, bro, mm-hmm. you know, they ain't come out with a new app every six months. I can't keep up, yeah, bro. I'm bro. getting too old for yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> But it's still a tool, so you know. For sure. It yeah. definitely is. It definitely <laughs> is, man. Um <laughs> Man, if I would have thought ten years ago that this uh, that social media would impact as much as it did, man, I like even th- like yo, the old projects, right? Like the the music that you came out with coming out of high school, if you had the the same level of social media as oh, yeah. there is today, it's oh, like man. oh man. Well, you know what actually happened with me was like you said, you you know how impactful it would be. I was kind of that same. I bet I'm in the mic. Um, I was that same kind of mindset where it's yeah. like because when I came out. It was still, you know, writing Sharpies on the CD, boom, boom, boom. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was real life making money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Selling five dollar CDs in a dang on sandwich bag. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like at the CD boom, we me, Rip, uh, Mita, we went to Q Studios, took pictures. That was our album coach. We threw that joke. Look, look. <laughs> wait, you said Q Studios? That's when Q they had Stu- the backgrounds? Q Studios. Was that uh, Brookdale? Brookdale. Oh, yeah, man, bro. We went the to, we went the stars, to crew, like... crew, crew Studios, took pictures, threw them in the bag with the with the CD we wrote on there, boom, bam. I feel it. And uh, we really went around, yo, $5, $5. I, I remember I made yeah. off that first CD $550. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's off. I'm it's a over. rapper, rapper. It's you know what I'm saying? Like, right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so, you know, from that, that was 07. Um, 09, 2010. Yeah. When you when you going through that time period, it seems like a long time. But then when you look back, like, oh, that's only a three year time period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But two to three years. Facebook started taking off because I was on MySpace and stuff like that, and right, I was yo. I was doing numbers and stuff on MySpace. I think they were stealing people music on MySpace. But right, that's yo. another Background topic. Music and all types of um. <laughs> so about nine, nine and ten, Facebook started coming out. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, you transition over. But it's, you know, again, we really in the streets selling the joints. Every time yep, we yep. do a new one, we making our rounds. And we hit yep, people yep. up. We go into the shows and stuff like that. So as they start coming out, 29, 2010, I'm like, how much do you have to be on here? Because, you know, is it really effective? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't see the 
benefit in it. Right, yeah. I was one of them guys who didn't put the money in the stock when the stock was low. Right. And yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah. by the time it started shifting, I ain't know the game. So I really learned the the social media game. I learned the social media game after I was off social media. Oh, damn. Just studying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah, studying yeah. YouTube, studying, you know what I'm saying, Instagram, and just kind of really start playing around with the uh, tools that they have. But yeah. this was after... You know, right, after, yeah, three, yeah, four yeah. years after the fact that I'm like not even rap. That's so that's what I was saying when I was like, Early, okay, yeah. boom, I can show mugs how to do what I didn't do. You know what I'm so, saying? And then when it came to Snapchat and all that, I'm like, bro, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm. Although I'm a rapper, yeah, yeah, I'm still a private. Like I just like to do my work. For sure, I do my work, indulge in my work. We cool. When I step out, I step out. But yeah, I'm not yeah, one yeah. to. Uh, you know that's that's not me. You know what I'm saying? It, no, like so, yeah, yeah. that that was a hard thing for me that I couldn't and still to this day can't do something feel like it. this. I enjoy because I love to talk. You know it, what I'm yeah. saying? Like so, this is different for me. Yeah. You know, I I actually enjoyed that this came around. Actually, you know, uh, I speak about games a couple times in this interview. Um, we had a, a show for we had probably, probably about five episodes or something like that, okay. and this was way back in I think '09 or something like that. Okay. And um, but at that point in time, I was still a lot shy in right, front yeah. of the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only in my mode. People didn't really understand it. Like I'm only was in my mode when I was on stage or when I was in the booth. Yeah, so you know, yeah, mud yeah. be like, "Yo, you get a family gathering. Hey, yo, rap." <laughs> <laughs> you're a rapper hey, you right got, don't you? you know what I'm saying it's like yo I gotta you know I gotta build it it's a different switch you know you got David no, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's yeah. not lame but you got, you got David you got Cho you know what I'm saying that's no, two yeah. different two different right. joints like you gotta switch that on and off Absolutely. and some people in it all day but you know me personally it was you know I gotta I gotta prepare for it like alright yeah I'm finna, I'm finna be on that and when I get in it you know I'm, yeah, I'm cocky yeah, as yeah. hell I, I hey, think look, you know what I'm right, saying yeah. but when I'm not in it, I'm nothing. just chill, just humble, cool you know. And, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, that social media is a monster, bro. It's it's <laughs> that mug's a monster. It, yeah, it definitely is, man. What, what what else we got going? You got you talked about the trucking a little. Did you talk about trucking? Oh, trucking no, I ain't talk bit? about it. Um, I can talk about it though. Oh um, yeah. So I did like the Amazon and the DoorDash for about a year, and then I'm like, okay, I end up calling a guy. Uh. So I'm like, yo, I want to buy a truck, you know what I'm saying, and work through y'all company because I was doing some research and stuff online. Yeah, yeah. And then um, end up from there, you know, he ended up telling me, like, I'm like, I, know I ain't got no CDL yet. He's like, you don't even need no CDL to buy the box truck or so. I'm like, okay, cool. And that's how I started doing my research between, you know, not having a CDL, having a CDL. I ended yeah. up cho- cho- choosing to go get the CDL. Currently not even using it, but I still have it. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just a, a lot of bread in there, <laughs> so... Uh, I started doing that, and then it, it opened up room for me to do my real estate more because I also had my real estate license. But working at um, working at the hotel, you know, you working five days a week, straight hours. Your hours are your hours, and I was yeah, on salary yeah, yeah. too, so it's like they cutting employees for COVID, but my ass still there. Yeah, <laughs> you know right. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, when, once I got into the driving stuff, it was I was able to be more flexible on when I um work but still make the money that i need to work then i was able to open my doors to actually start getting my customers for my real estate so boom be able to knock both of those out and then boom it's it's been working well for me because i I had the i had the uh real estate license for in 2019 or whatever and Mm -hmm. i really didn't have I I i was trying to find out yo how can i get customers in here when i'm yeah, you know, and and uh, yeah, it, it opened it up. So it's learning curve a little yeah, bit, been moving, man, and they're able to do both of them successfully, but still trying to take that money and do something else. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. I'm definitely. with the houses, though. I'm with the houses, right. and, the, okay. and I and I actually I love driving. I used to hate driving, you know. Yeah. But uh, you get to see places you ain't never seen, you mm-hmm. know, uh, stuff like that, and you just kind of get to chill in your space, and you know, just you know. A lot of think time is where you get to grow. Yeah, it's like uh, I play yeah. a lot of audio books while I be driving and stuff like that. So a lot of learning time. I've learned a little Spanish and stuff like that. Okay, so, all right. It's it's it's, it's, it's dope. Uh, that's it's dope. what's up, man. That's dope. That's cool, man. That's what's up, man. Um, you said you doing real estate as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. I've been into real estate, man. Like I said, 2019. I well, I got my. I was in school in 2018. Got my license in 2019. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, man, I learned a lot through that, man. It's 
it's it's it's what it's what they say it is as far as like what you can do with it. But yep. I got a lot of different realistic views on what it is. They try to sell us, especially the black community. They try to sell us on a lot of things. Know what you're getting into. It is what they say it is, but not at all times. If like I mean, I could really sit a person down and really kind of explain what I mean. But um, understand that. You have to be financially financially secure before you step into these commitments because it is a liability before it's an asset. Everybody on the internet going to tell you, grab a house, it's like, yeah, you finna create generational wealth. That doesn't happen overnight as long as you understand that, as long as you understand the process. There's, dip, there's a million different processes that you can um, get to the bag with when it comes to real estate. But... It is not like the internet Instagram joints tell you where, you know, you just got a crib. Now you all of a sudden got cash flow because you rented it out. Mm. Uh, that, it's, 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 a, it's a lot deeper than that. And I can go, yeah. but that's like a whole episode. But got you. Understanding what you're getting into. But it's the money's really there. But you have to understand what you're getting into and what the process is that you're taking. Okay. You want to tell the people where they can hit you up if they want to buy a house right now? I mean, I mean... I, I was going to throw my phone number out there. <laughs> D Jenkins, D J E N K I N S, at The Bridge Realty, T H E B R I D G E R E A L T Y A B. What? No. <laughs> D Jenkins at The Bridge Realty dot com. Uh, that, that's my email. You hit, you hit that email. For and sure. uh, We can strike a conversation and. Um, you know, kind of get going from there and uh, kind of my process, what I do with people, you know, sit down and um, understand what your uh, wants are, what your needs are, and then explaining you the way about going to get it and how it works. And from there, you know, we can move forward into whatever process you want to do, whether that be investing, whether that be, you know, you just want a residential crib, you know, different ways to get it. So, yeah, hit me up. Appreciate that. Oh, Appreciate yeah, most that. definitely, man. Y'all just got the best tip in the world, man, on how to get a crib right here from Pancho. Now, um, if y'all want him to manage you, <laughs> your music, <laughs> how are they going to find you, man? How are they going to find you? Uh, Chosco Music at gmail.com. I got so many emails. <laughs> <laughs> Universal Carriers at gmail.com. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yeah, 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 separate it all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, okay, you know, you get an influx of uh, you know things, but for sure, it's gonna be on the bottom of the thing. Yeah, you know yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work out that management, man, because I still got a passion for music, man. I still got it. It's Most just definitely. evolved into a different kind of kind of way. But I got you. Okay, being in Minnesota, uh, and we talking about music. Uh, what's the next? Who's the next biggest? artist you see coming out of Minnesota or who's somebody who you would kind of like to work with or um kind of do music with to stop playing <laughs> <laughs> so when I speak about that management thing you know T.Y. uh if y'all if y'all haven't heard him he used to go by Young Picasso if you look at some of my old tracks you'll see him on there as Young Picasso but he's been um delivering his own set of music so you can look him up on Apple T.Y. it's just T T period Y period, I think. Uh, yeah. He actually got me into the uh, management mode. You know, he, he the first one to come to me like, yo, so, you know, I know you got some knowledge in the game and stuff like that. What you think about managing me? I don't know what the hell a manager does. And I never had one of those. Um, but he, he kind of got my brain uh, going um, on the management thing. Um, he's super dope. So outside of him, though, I don't really know because I ain't even tapped in. Uh, no, I feel <laughs> but it. I do know he's fire. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I know fire music when I hear it. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. Ty, be on the lookout for Ty, man. He he definitely embodies the new era artist as far as you know having that ability to harmonize on the records, um, paint his picture in in a way that when you hear it. You, you see the mini movie in your head. You know what I'm saying? You For can sure. make the video before he drop it. For sure. Because he he, he definitely paints pictures. Um, his his delivery's on point. Uh, he has the 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 wordplay too. It's it's he's more of a storyteller. So you get the you as like a, a rapper like me. I'm more like more towards like a Wayne where I'm I'm hitting bars. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, yeah. He got the bars though, but it's 
bled in with the word with the with the stories. Yeah. Um nice. he's 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 very dope. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how how much he grows, where he takes it and mm-hmm. you know, I I think the sky's the limit, man. Uh Oh yeah. Yeah. I think the sky's the yeah. limit. So him and then he be talking about a lot of people too that, you know, he always say and he be asking me, I'm like, bro, I'll be at work. I don't know none of these people. And that's no disrespect. You know, no, no disrespect yeah. to anybody. But, you know, it's it's just so much content to intake uh, these days that yeah. you got to be Superman if you're keeping up with everybody. So, so. You, know, I, you know, like I said, I don't really listen to too much rap as it is. Um, he, he family. So uh, yeah. a little biased there, a lot biased. Right. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, that's that's who I would say as far as talent wise that I know. Okay, Otherwise, yeah. I don't really know too many. People. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, you can check out his music on all platforms too, correct? Yep. Right, yeah. Ty, check him out, man. That's the little bro. Yup, yup. Yeah. Uh, he got the um, mixtape on um Pimpin on YouTube. Oh, yeah, on so YouTube. Look, look it up. Uh, Ty Pimpin yep. Days. That's how you T-Y, find. Ty, yup. Ty Pimpin it's, it's Days. There's a few Ty's out there. Uh, so put in Ty then Pimpin Days. It's a chick on the uh, cover. Yeah, like <laughs> a Betty Bob. Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check it out, check it out. Mo music on the way. I think he working on an album right now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I know that's gonna be some, fire. Yeah, that's gonna be man, nice. Man's, man's is really good, man. It's it's um. Before he started putting out music, I really hadn't put out nothing. But you know, when somebody motivates you, like, oh man, I got. Oh music, yeah, man. Let me get um, there, get the cooking. When you hear something, you like. You know, you get motivated to cook. That's when I know it's real. Yeah, yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't put him. People ain't probably heard nothing from me, but. I've been in the studio here and there. Yeah. And that's strictly off of hearing his tunes. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how much of a uh, BC is at, at, at what he's doing. Yeah. Because I, I don't really, the, the stuff, a lot of the stuff I hear, like I can hear some good stuff. Oh, that's cool. Bro. You just like it. When I hear something and say, I got to go to the booth, hey, just know you doing that thing. Most definitely. You're doing that thing if I feel like I got to get yeah. it there. <laughs> Stamp of approval right there. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add? Matter of fact, one last question. Yeah. What are the top three black businesses in Minnesota that you would say uh, you support or you kind of rally behind? Okay. Well, I don't be outside much, but when I do go outside, I no, go I to the breakfast it. bar. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah. And um, I know that's black. What's his name? Marcus something. I, I don't know his name. I know he black. it's a black-owned business, but it's the breakfast bar down on, yeah. I think it's First Street. I, okay. If I'm if I'm not look up the breakfast bar. The breakfast bar. Check it out. Look up the breakfast Shout bar. Shout out to the breakfast bar. Dope food, bro. You know, for my where I'm at, you know, I, don't, yeah. I ain't trying to be in no joint. Turn it up. You know no, what I'm saying? Like when it. I get in the joint, the music low enough you to know, be able to have a conversation. You know, have a conversation, but yeah. still feel the vibe, and for you know, sure. that's kind of where I'm at. And yeah, um, yep, yep. when I've been to breakfast bar a few times, my guy Kendall took me there uh, for his birthday. That was the first time I went. Yeah. yeah. Um, Real smooth spot, man. I I, I like that joint. I, I know that one's black owned. Um, my wife supports uh, Nadine's beauty support. Uh, Nadine's, forgive me, Nadine. Um, Nadine. Shout out to Nadine. <laughs> so, Na, Na, what what you call it? Boutique. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nadine's boutique. boutique. My my wife uh, supports her heavy. Uh, she okay. she buys um, uh, clothes. It's plus size clothes for uh, women. Dope. And um. Uh, my mother in law, uh, my my wife buys hers a lot, a lot of um, uh, outfits and stuff from there. And then, of course, you know, I got to shout out Bell Beauty. Uh, <laughs> that's go, my go. wife's uh, beauty supply uh, beauty supply line. So there you, you go. Know, we ship out stuff and um, do drop shipping and stuff like For that. For sure, that's dope, man. Otherwise, and you drive man, too, I'm so trying to look in. at. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I deliver. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Universal carriers. Yes, yeah, so hit me up. But um yeah, otherwise man, I, I've been looking to get into some more. Cause I'm, I'm starting to get back outside again. You know, you just been in that grind mode, so you just be yeah. working and in the crib, and I, I haven't been out much. But uh, my wife, she's a uh, you know, we talked about how I don't necessarily be on social. My wife, like she on that much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she be sending me joints all the time. Right. Um, and she heavy into uh you know the black business and stuff like that. So. That's once good. I do get back out, you know, I'm finished this winter up on grind season. Once yeah. I do get back out, summertime, I'm going to be checking out a lot of the joints that she be sending me, man. We some foodies, man. We love <laughs> we love okay. going checking out the different spots. That, man, that's yeah. dope. That's dope. I'm going to chop it up with you after this, man. I'm, I got this other food stuff going. Okay. It's, yeah, it's another idea. Fire. But, yeah, you know, um, yeah. 
That about concludes, man. Okay. Uh, Show yeah. no TV episode one. Number uno. You know Appreciate what I'm saying? It's the it, pilot, man. man. Appreciate it. Shout out to Pancho coming through. Yes, sir. Shout out to y'all for viewing. Stay in tune. We're going to um, keep getting at it. And it's going to be... You going to spit some for us? I, I got you, man. I got you. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Go ahead and bless us real quick, man. You know, man, send us yeah. off right. Pancho about to go ahead and spit something to change right. the, rock the earth right now. Yeah, we're going to spit it. We spin it off the phone just because, you know, I've gotten, you know, older. I don't really be... <laughs> I write this stuff when I'm feeling it and I just, you know, I, I ain't hey. really at it no more. So I'm going to just spit it off the phone. Excuse me for that. Oh, but, uh, good. Shit's been getting wicked. I feel like these burdens on my shoulders. Gotta lift my peoples up, cause I know soon it's gonna be over. Cracking these codes like I got cheats just at my feet, but this is God's vision. 30 plus years of life that's never been a clear mission. Straight up out that slum shit. Same story, different nigga. Supposed to be on posters, but I've always seen the bigger picture. Nothing in them streets but dead souls, and I'm supposed to live. Fuck, I look like out here raising hell. I gotta raise these kids. Pressure's on me. I cannot fold like numerals, they counting on me. Gotta feed the city a little hope, cause hella niggas hungry. Follow me. Please don't clap for me. I want you right with me. If I can elevate, then there's no reason you shouldn't fly with me. Listen. Fly with me. Let's go write this history. If I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. Triple B's. This mm. for my daughters, my son, and my granddaughter's son. Because if the victory was just for me, then I already won. Hey. Humble, but I'm going to need me a rose or two. How you make it with no guidance down the chosen route? Pray for me. I know this weight on me, but I can't wait for me. If everything must be perfect before you go, you might not ever leave. Mm. My cousin's left was premature. Just want to shape the generation so you ain't got the same fate for yours. We killing us and got every excuse for why we fail. If black lives matter, I'm no snitch because I can't fucking tell. Mm. Life ain't a joke and I'm no Dave Chappelle. Motherfuckers really in a drought, but all that I can do is wish them well. Forgive me, Lord, for I have sinned, but now I'm casting judgment. I just want the future being everything my people wasn't. Mm. Like who the voices in this jungle? Niggas speak up instead of trying to lead the youth. You niggas trying to keep up. Change up. We doing numbers like we work for PBS. For PBS. Walk 
gaining faith So I guess I'm a stopper If you ain't talking about no gains I give a fuck what you rapping My mama told me that I'm legendary I pray I leave a whole book for every life That I've touched as my obituary Still is bigger than me I'm just a vessel with perfections in the ground Preaching while I'm flexing muscle Need a milli for the freedom I've been geeking with the hustle Put the family on my back I bet I walk a selfish struggle That's on everything Reaching from these roots I want the spirit singing Lifting every shackle and